Alright guys, welcome back to Revest Fishing. Today we're doing something a little different that I've never really done before. And we're going to review a video game. So I'm a big gamer on the side for you guys that didn't know. Uh, so today we're going to go over the Dovetail Games Bassmaster Fishing 2022. I've uh, been really excited for this game to come out for a long time. So we're going to jump in here. We're in the menu system. We're going to jump right into the game and give you my thoughts. I've got probably three, three hours maybe into the game. Uh, two and a half, three hours so far. So I got my initial impressions. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to give you guys my thought process, uh, my thoughts on the game so far, a couple hours into it, and things that I think are positives and things I think, you know, I'd like to see some stuff improve on maybe. So um, the lakes that they got here, Gunnersville, Ray Roberts, St. Lawrence, Hamilton, Chickamauga, Toledo Bend, Sabine, uh, and St. John's. So um, I've been to a handful of these lakes so far. We're going to go to the Sabine just because so far I feel like it's it's been my favorite of the ones that I've played. So we're going to jump in the S Sabine River so far. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the uh, game here and jump right into some fishing. So we're going to jump right in. So uh, first big pro I feel like of the game that I, that I was really concerned about in any fishing game is the size the fishable waters um, there's a game back that came out in like 1999 that was like a FLW fishing game and the fishable waters in that game were way bigger than any other fishable water games and that was a game that came back in 99 so that's always kind of my standard so we're going to jump right into fishing here and we're just going to shoot down this canal and we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. so to start off the game here I'll tell you a little bit about uh boat physics and what I think about some boat physics is one of my gripes is that turning the wheel I'm turning the stick here left and right you don't see the motor turn uh, I feel like the negative it only turns when you're actually in motion the prop spins which I do think is a positive um, I like the player movement right when they're moving you can see the players moving there is an animation on the on the uh, you know throttle control there uh, things I think they get better is there's no ramp up speed to the motor. It's just one sound, right? The, also, the motor doesn't do, uh, the boat, ex excuse me, doesn't do, uh, like it doesn't lift, right? There's no, there's no bow lift here. The boat just stays, you can see it just stays flat the whole time. Obviously, that's not realistic to how the boats work. Um, so that's something that I feel like is, to me, is important, right? There's, there's no ability to do any trim or tilting of the motor, um, which is all pretty basic stuff for boating. Um, which I understand maybe not being in the game early on, hopefully maybe it's something they put in later, but I compare it back to that game in 1999, right? Had bow lift, had trim and tilt, you know, had throttle control where it wasn't just all or nothing. It was, you could, you could just throttle control it at a mid speed, low speed, high speed, uh, et cetera. So that's kind of my take on, on the boat control part. Uh, probably my number one gripe is with the trolling motor. So you can see I'm hitting X here to bring up the trolling motor menu there in the bottom left is I can't, you can't turn the trolling motor in this screen that we're in right here. If you try to turn the trolling motor left or right, you just get, uh, you just get these menu loadouts that pop up, which to me are just really, really frustrating um, because maybe I don't want to make a cast, but so really the way you get around that is you get into the casting mode and then do the trolling motor. See, now you can twist, you can see the arrow there, the boat arrow on the bottom left going left to right. Um, but the fact that that's not in the regular game is, is super frustrating to me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of fishing here. So let's back out of the fishing. I'm going to swap my loadout. Uh, I do like the loadout system. I think that that's really good. That's realistic, right? You have a bunch of combos set up. Um, so I, I, do, I do appreciate that. So um, quick changes uh, to that. And then the casting system, pretty basic. Um, I'm on the basic controls. I don't think I'm on the advanced controls, so the fishing's good. Not a big fan of the underwater camera as I fish here. Uh, you can see that there's no bait movement whatsoever. I don't really like underwater cameras. I much prefer this this view here of just the angler fishing. Um, I've kind of that's just a personal preference in all the fishing games that I've ever played. I prefer to just sit here and and watch. You know, more more at my style, realistic to what's real life, right? I don't want to be able to see. What fish are around me? I feel like it makes the game maybe a little bit more challenging, a little different. So, uh, that aspect of the game. Oh, got a fish there. Got one on here. So this is a, this is a part of the game that I also feel like could potentially use some improvement. Um, so this fight here so far so good, but there's times where the rod, see, like here, it's kind of behind my head. That's kind of not really realistic. I love the landing, that little landing screen. I really like that. 
I um, feel like that's a big positive in the game. So there's a nice uh, striped bass here, a little four pound striped bass. Um, I do like that. I feel like this menu here, this the fish is, looks really good. Um, I feel like that's a positive, but I don't like like when you're fishing, the guy's just kind of standing there, the rod's like behind his head. Really, and when you're fishing, that rod is really never behind your head when you're fighting a fish. It's always out in front of you. Um, so I don't think it needs to be back that far. I think if you put it forward a little bit, that would be a little bit better. Uh, and generally, you have more control of the fish than the fish has control of you, unless you're in a, a fight with like a really big uh, fish. So that's something else that's going on. Uh, so we're going to make another cast. So I like the casting. Casting's been pretty solid. Uh, the advanced controls, I imagine, is similar to the uh, other game that they made. Oh, got one. Wasn't really expecting to get a fish. Wasn't even reeling in yet. Um, so here's what I'm talking about. See how the, the rod's like behind my head? Like, I don't really like that. The way that looks in general. I feel like it could be improved. Um, you know, fighting is... I do appreciate that fighting a smaller fish. Like this whole deal here. I've actually got glitched out on the side of the boat before there, but that whole like thing is just weird looking, not very natural, um, but hopefully it's something that can be improved upon. Another little four pound stripe bass, apparently there's a little school of them there, but uh, overall, so going through, let's go ahead and back out of the fishing menu here and let's go to, um, let's go to the tackle box, so... There we go. Got the tackle box here. So we're in your loadout. So let's go through uh, some of the stuff that I like and, and dislike about the game from the baits standpoint. Um, so here we. So one thing that is kind of frustrating is that you don't get plastics unless you have a weight selected here. Um, if you have a weight selected here, then you can get the plastic. If you don't, then you can't. So like as you can see, um, when I select in here, I can't go see any of the deep diving crankbaits. I feel like that's not necessary. Just make it required after doing it instead of putting it where this is blank. That's kind of confusing to me. Um, I didn't really understand why I can't just switch to a deep diving crankbait. Why can't I just cut this off and put a deep diving crankbait on? Seems like it would be a little bit more uh, understanding there. So uh, from the bait selection, uh, obviously, right, they got some drop shot baits, the D-bomb. Uh, swim jig there, different colors of the Christie crawl. Uh, I don't love the 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 prices on things are, can maybe be a little bit frustrating. I was gonna go do and do the math, but basically, uh, I don't know how much for career. Maybe you get significantly more for for career, and that would that would uh, help you boost to be able to buy more stuff in in a sooner time frame. But me playing the game about two hours, I got six thousand you know like dollars or whatever there. Uh, I've already bought a couple things, so that's a little bit lower. But I do, I do really like the variety, right? Some swim baits, you know, got some missile baits, the destroyer, the D bomb, um, you know, a booty shaker, the jerk shads, you know, a little shaky head worm, some other swim baits here, you know, a couple different varieties of swim baits, little some stick baits, a little thumper worm there, you know, a little paddle tail. Uh, so I do feel like that's pretty solid from the plastic standpoint. Um, let's go like look at look at the hard baits here for a second uh, so to, to start off you get the pad crasher you get the the perfect 10 rogue um, and you get the pop R rattle traps yeah I purchased this one I got 15 of these uh, fire tiger you also get the DD 22 and chili bowl a limited amount of those lake fork flutter spoon uh, those two you also see here I bought uh, a yellow perch one knocker I uh, got the Echo Crankbaits, that's good. The Rebel VRs, those are pretty cool. Uh, some Buzz Baits, Spinner Baits, Bandit 100s, Bandit 200s, Deep VRs, Hula Poppers, uh, some Jabber Draws, those are pretty cool baits. Uh, baby Torpedoes, uh, Deep Little In there, that's kind of a good, a couple Deep Little In, different colors there. Uh, Jitterbugs, some Walleye Baits here, the little jointed, like jointed Shad Wrap type baits. A couple different colors, Pad Crashers, Pop Bars. Uh, this is a little square bills, I think, right here. Uh, and then you get your different colors of rattle traps. Uh, a couple different colors of DD-22. Uh, and then the Booyah one knockers. Uh, more colors of rattle trap there. Some walleye, walleye, di walleye divers. Some walleye deep diving cranks there. Uh, some more frogs, different brands, right? 13 fishing frogs there. Uh, more rattle traps and some different colors. Uh, you got some more 13 fisheries motor boats. Uh, those are pretty cool looking baits. 
um, some Nichols lure, some buzz baits there. So the the variety of baits that you get here is pretty high. Devil's horse, you know, the one knockers. You got like the spooks, those are real good baits. Some flutter spoons, um, some some jerk baits. You know, perfect ten rogues. Uh, I imagine these look like some spy baits. You have some spy baits there. Uh, here's a hard swim bait, a pencil popper. Those are good baits. Uh, more spinner baits, flutter spoons. So you can see they got a wide wide variety of baits. So that's definitely something that I feel like is a huge plus to the game. The prices on it are, man, like I said, I haven't played the game enough to know, like, in the season, do you get a lot of money so you can buy a bunch of stuff early, or is it just a huge grind to get that, uh, get that stuff out, so we'll have to see about that a little bit further in the future, uh, how that goes, but that's kind of the baits behind it. Uh, the line, super expensive, so you get the seven, seven pound, uh, sniper, uh, some of this other line's not too bad, uh, and then you start getting to the higher end, you know, 20 pound test. 30 pounds of some braid and stuff like that. Uh, the reels, you get some spinning, a bunch of different, handful of different spinning reels here. Enigma 13 fishing, favorite. Um, same with the rods, right? Uh, I have the bass rods, casting rods, and spinning rods. That's, I bought the deluxe package for the game. Um, favorite fishing. Some casting rods, favorite. Um, more 13 fishing, some favorites. There's a Jinko, Fitzgerald. So they have a wide variety of, of rods so I really appreciate that I feel like that's a really good part of the game uh, if you're looking at the weight part of it the different so the different rigs right for your plastics Carolina rig drop shot jig head Ned rig no weight right if you want to go weightless um, or you want to do a Texas rig there and then they have uh, all those are the same right quarter ounce standards um, but then you have to purchase the higher weights uh, if you want to go to a half maybe um, or a quarter uh, some of that different stuff, 8th ounce, 316s, uh, 3 you know, halves, etc. All that is extra three, those are three quarters in there. So all that's different weighted. I don't know how I feel about that. That's fine, I guess. Um, I, like I said, I just don't, I hope that the, that the career mode gives you a, a net, a good amount of these dollars. Uh, a good amount of this currency in order to be able to buy a good chunk of this stuff in a in a timely manner uh, otherwise you're going to be waiting forever i mean this is significant amount of money to earn to be able to unlock all the different rigs uh, to be able to fish uh, the loadout system like i spoke before oops, earlier sorry wrong button there the loadout system here that they have right you have the you have the bassmaster default loadout that's what other one i've been kind of tinkering with you have a finesse loadout as default there's an offshore loadout right and then you can do your own new loadout I feel like that's really good also a cool little feature here if you look on the very right side of the screen it shows you um, the fish that you've caught on that particular loadout so you can see for me the Christie crawl has been by far my best bait um, the different locations that I've caught fish on uh, different things and uh, different baits so uh, overall you know real quick quick rundown of the game I feel like there's some things that can be improved that I really like I really like that there's actual pro anglers in the game, 10 of them. I'd like to see more. Hopefully that increases. Hopefully the anglers are allowing that uh, to get better throughout time, allowing them to get in the game and get more and more anglers in there and, and continue to grow. I think the foundation of the game is very solid. Uh, I think there's stuff to improve upon. I'd like to be able to, to have more fishable water, even though I said that was a, a pro. I understand that's a, probably really complex from a development standpoint, but would like to see more fishable water. I'd like to see less, maybe less background details and more just fishable water, um, you know, wide, broad, wide variety of different uh, fishing options and things like that. And then obviously like the boat fish is just something that's small and it may sound nitpicky, right, doing the really small stuff, but I feel like those are things that, like I said, they were in that game in 1999 that I really appreciated, right, a trim and till, being able to have a throttle control, lock the boat actually lifting up on pad and sitting on top of the water versus just staying flat the whole time. Especially in a game like this, right, I might be just driving around looking for fish on the depth finder there and trying to find them, but doing that at either a high speed or slow speed and the engine noise always being the same and things like that can be can be a kind of a grind. So that's kind of my recap. Overall, I feel like it's a very solid game. I'm definitely going to play it. I look forward to this winter, right? Fishing season starts slows down for me around this time. So going to be grinding on it, going to be playing it. Hopefully there's updates and the game continues to press and get better, but that's, that's kind of my overall recap. Uh, I, I think it's really good. I think on Xbox with the Game Pass, it's free, so I mean, you can't beat that at all. 
Um, PlayStation, I think I bought it for the, the Digital Deluxe, so it was $45. But $40 overall also I feel like is a positive, right? Some of these things you can deal with uh, for a $40 game that maybe you wouldn't be able to deal with on, on a different game. So uh, we're going to make a couple more casts here before we wrap it up and see if we can catch us another fish. Probably should have been fishing during the whole the whole time I was talking here, but kind of hard for me to do. So, but yeah, overall I feel like it's a solid game. Uh, I really feel like there's some small things that are are big uh, quality of life improvements for the user. Being the the trolling motor use is a huge one for me. Uh, that trolling motor functionality, the way it works right now, is just really, really, you know, it's really bad. Oh man, didn't get a good hook set on that fish. Oh, it's really tiny. Oh, a little tiny crappie there, a little black crappie looks like. But uh, I feel like otherwise it's it's pretty solid. I guess I can show you guys too the different casting. So here's that's the long cast, is that overhand cast. Uh, we'll do we'll do a medium cast here. A little sidearm action down down that tree line there. Uh, also, you can see when fishing here. So there's also these controls. So you can see the one, two, three, four, five there that I'm hitting on the L1R1. That's this. That's the retrieve speed. Um, so really, for me, when I'm fishing, it's one. The really only time I ever jump above one is if I want to reel, reel the bait in quickly uh, to get to another cast. And then that 25, 26 is just a drag system. I feel like those are all pretty good things. Pretty standard. Uh, I, I don't have any problems with with that system. I still think my biggest gripe overall is the trolling motor and like the kind of the boating physics uh, are probably my biggest things. And so now I'm almost going to show you guys here a short range cast. So let's flip that to a uh, short range cast. So it's like a flip. You know, if you're like flipping this wood here, so pitch it out there like that. And then go back to one. Oh, got a bite right away. As soon as I pitched it in there. A little crappie. A little solid little crappie. So. Anyway, that's kind of the overall recap of the game. Main core physics, you know, my, my thought process on it is really this trolling motor system here, as you can see, it's just, you know, I just really, not being able to steer the boat, basically, uh, without being in a casting, is just, that just kind of drives me nuts makes the game a lot harder for me to play the way that I want to play it, which maybe it's not intended to play the way that I want to play it, but I feel like that's something that could could be fixed, and maybe there's maybe it's just a little bit of a an issue there. And I made a cast without getting a bite there. So this is also something here. So like right here, like, that was not bad. There's been times where the guy reels it in, the bait's right there forever, and I'm just like, get the dang bait in, right? It's out of the water. We don't need to sit here and and do it so I don't know what's that could be something that I'm just doing wrong there but that's when I use the the number one two three four five to kind of speed in my retrieve so I don't have that problem as much but anyway guys that's my overall review I'm gonna get back to, to fishing a little bit more I'm gonna upload this for you guys and let me know what you guys think if you have the game um, overall I think it's I think it's worth purchasing I think being early early in the game's release hopefully it updates and there's some small things that get improvement but I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing it I look forward to getting in the career mode uh, maybe I'll do another review when I get a few hours into the career mode and let you guys know kind of what I think about that that mode overall because so far I've just kind of done some quick fishing um, and jumped in and, and played some games just going out to the lake and doing some fishing so oh got another fish so I've caught a bass in this whole time I've been fishing here <laughs> it's been a crappie and white bass show so anyway guys thanks for watching let me know what you guys think about the game oh that's a trophy white crappie little two pounder big one um, so let me know what you guys think of the game if you have it. Let me know if you thoughts. If you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see, maybe I'll do another one of these videos if you guys get some feedback. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you out in the next one.